So you're starting your website project and most likely you'll be editing your project in your classroom or also taking that project home. And there's only one way to be able to, to do that, and at least if you don't have access to that computer while you're at home. So the, the idea is we can use the internet and we can use GitHub and Cloud9 as services to be able to edit that code wherever we are. And so with GitHub, we're able to put our code in a place to where we can collaborate. And then with Cloud9, we're able to use their services to edit the code and push the changes back up to GitHub. GitHub is also how you'll submit your project and host your project as long as the it's a website project and it's a static website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So with a new repository in GitHub, after you create your GitHub account, you'll create a new repository and we can call it, I'm gonna say we're gonna create a candy shop website for do local candy shop. And then I'm going to go and initialize with a readme. I don't have any code to start. If you do uh, create the repository without a readme, I'll just show you that process. So from here, let's say we have code, you would follow the instructions down below and you could do that in Cloud9 if needed. And then if you uh, were able to, to uh, if you needed to create a file, you could do that here. So it still gives me the opportunity to create a readme. I'm going to do that and we'll show you how the rest of this plays out. So I've got a new file I'm creating. Edit new file, I'm gonna go ahead and hit commit new file. And that's just saying that I am creating a file. Here's that item in history. And you can see that last commit here. So I can look at my commits and it shows my last change was by me. And I can even see the details of that commit if I wanted to. And that's me adding this new, new file. All right, so let's do one thing I think is gonna be helpful for us moving forward. And that is when we want to view our website in the future when we start adding new files, and I'll show you what that looks like, we want to set up the GitHub pages. And that means to select a source, which is the, gonna be the master branch, and then you can hit save. And then this will make your, your project available on GitHub by looking at this link right here. So if I go here, it's gonna say 404. I have no home page, I have no code whatsoever except for the readme. So let's get started. I'm gonna jump over to Cloud9, create your account, and you're able to then create a new workspace. And so I have some uh, repositories that I can access with Cloud9 because I've connected my GitHub account to Cloud9 and then I'm able to search for Candy. So I'm gonna clone to be able to edit this inside of the, the Cloud9 service. And so this is gonna be Candy Shop and then um, let's do School Project and this is gonna be an HTML5. I'm just gonna use that template and that's fine. Here, it's going to clone from this repository. And from here, I think I can create a website. Ah, it has to be lowercase and I have to use a hyphen. Okay, cool. So create the website and it's gonna create the workspace. This is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm going to stop the video here and then return once it's complete. All right, so I have arrived at Cloud9 in my new candy shop clone from GitHub. And at this point, uh, let's go ahead and go full screen with this. And I've got my terminal at the bottom. If you don't see your, your terminal here, that you can close the terminal. And then if you want a new one, you can go to Window, New Terminal, and it's gonna open up as a new tab. You're able to drag that tab and put it at the top or the bottom, left or right. It's nice and handy. And I don't need it that big. I'm just gonna slide it down. And then with the terminal is how we're going to push code up to the GitHub, uh, the GitHub repository that we have. So I'm gonna move back to Candy Shop and see that we've got our readme. Let's add our folder structure. So in the folder here in the top left, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a new folder. And I'm gonna call this Assets. And this is where we're gonna put all of our assets. The CSS, the images, the JavaScript, all of those items are going to be in this folder. And we're gonna create a new folder inside of assets and put it as JS for JavaScript, if you have any in your project. And it's showing you an example of what this is gonna look like as you move forward. This is a common structure for websites. And so also we'll have CSS and then new folder of images. And so there might be other folders outside of that, but at least that's the basic structure. We're able to put in a new file in here called styles.css. And then we're able to do a 
outside of assets, let's put in a couple pages. So we'll have new index, which is our home page, index.html. And then I'm gonna do one more and we'll call this, it's a candy shop. So we're going to have, we'll do products.html. All right, so nothing really special here. I'm just gonna open up these two tabs. I'm gonna close this terminal and let's open up, I'm gonna double click on the index.html and start editing. So it's gonna add a little bit of code here just to get us started. And uh, at least if it, I'm, I'm tabbing into the word, so if I wanna create the tags and I have to type every letter out, because it's gonna save me a whole lot of time not to type every character, I can go title and then hit tab on the keyboard and then that'll expand it. So in the body tag, I'm going to put an H1 for my heading and And then I'm gonna do some lorem ipsum, and apparently that's has to be typed out. Okay, oh, that was nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do lorem ipsum. It's gonna tab into it. It's gonna give me an example of, of text, and that's good enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to do the same thing with products. Um, it's gonna say uh, our candy. Obviously these pages aren't completely built out, but the next thing is to add this to Git. So I've got a video already created, it's called the Git Crash Course. I think that'll be a great introduction to seeing what I'm about to do, but at least to give you an example of how I'm going to move all of these changes, the new assets folder with CSS, images, and JavaScript into, and also the index and products pages into GitHub. So let's do that really quick. I'm going to Git status and see where I'm at. This shows that the assets folder is untracked along with index and products. So I'm gonna do git add period, which is everything in the current directory that I'm in. And then I'll do get status again just to see that it's all green. So now that we have staged it and we are ready to, to uh, add basically everything to our, uh, as our commit. So git commit, m tag, open quotes. And I'm gonna use present tense to describe what I did. And basically it's my, not my initial commit, but it creates project folder structure. And then from here, uh, files change or three, and then we can just do git push. Uh, and I th think that should bring us right back up to GitHub. Yep, GitHub, Chance Smith, Candy Shop. So let's move over to our Candy Shop. Great, we've got assets, it says just CSS. The reason is there's nothing in the other folders of JS and, and images. And so until we add something to those folders, then they will be empty in GitHub, in, a, yeah, in the GitHub account, in, in the repository. So we have an index file here. So let's see what our project looks like from GitHub. Great candy for the world to enjoy, a little bit of text. So it's not very pretty, but you get the idea that currently we are at index.html. And then if I change over to products, then we see our candy. So we know that our GitHub website is viewable to basically the world, but we're able to, to take this uh, GitHub account and turn it into a web host, at least for our project here. And so as you create pages, you can link between the pages and this will be able to, to get you started. And that is how we use GitHub and Cloud9 for our projects. Thanks so much. Good luck on your project.